Hello, folks. Or folk. We got one. We got James there. Then we got David. We got two folk. Happy Tuesday to you. Still dealing with sinus infection, so I'm still going to hack every once in a while. There's my Aunt Sue. You're third today, Sue. You're, you're slipping. Hello, Bobby. Hello, Patty. Sue, you wondered. <coughs> my Aunt Sue said she couldn't um, see what my pencil rendering looked like whenever. Um, let me fix this a little bit here. When the charts came out and I saw that the Old Time Preachers Quartet had the number four song in the nation with I Sang Myself Happy. And I, I did a little pencil rendering of uh, what my face looked like and she said she couldn't see it. So she wanted me to darken it up with a pen or something. So here you go, Sue. Can you see that? That's what my face looked like a couple of weeks ago when the chart came out. <coughs> and it said the Old Time Preachers Quartet, I Sang Myself Happy, was number four in the singing news in the nation. And now uh, radio is uh, telling me it may be number one. Maybe it will, but maybe it won't, but wow. First off, wow on the number four. And if it's number one, you ain't going to believe what this rendering is going to look like the next time. <laughs> My eyeballs are going to pop out and be down here at the bottom of the paper. But uh, anyway, so there you go, Sue. I made it a little bit uh, darker for you. <clears throat> All right. I tell you what, I've been on this radio tour for a couple days, and next week I've got a big three-day tour in uh, East Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia. Um, and so during my two-day trip, I tried to play all this, uh, a song from everybody that was um, helping me on this tour, all the artists, and man, I just ran out of time, and I've got tons of songs that I didn't get to play. So we're, there's going to be a lot of music tonight, very little talking. Now, I might uh, give somebody a call, one of my buddies a call here in a little bit. But let's just start with the music. The Goulds were part of this, and they've, uh, they've got a cool little uh, Hymns and Classics CD that I've got here in my uh, hands. And man, I love this, this hymn right here. So I'm going to play this one right cheer from this CD uh, from the Goulds. Tell me the story of Jesus. Man, isn't this a great song? You just cannot beat Tell Me the Story of Jesus. The Goulds. Hang tight, we got more coming your way. Tell me the story of Jesus. Yeah. Right on my heart, every word.
head off at me right now. <laughs> uh oh, Adam and Angels in the house. Jesus, the Goulds, they were part of my radio tour um, last couple of days. Wanted to play some Goulds music. Well, we had a great tour. We went and saw Ron Foster, his wife down in Birmingham. It was Ron's, it was the night before his birthday, so we just made a big birthday bash out of it. And uh, had a good time in uh, Meridian with Glenn. Matter of fact, let me take a look here. I think I, I thought I saw Glenn jump on a while ago. Let's just see who's with us real quick. <clears throat> as I bark in your ear from this sinus infection. Oh, man, Sue, Patty, we got Bobby Ewing, the one that shot JR. No, I mean, not the one that shot JR. Uh, BT Thomas, there's Glenn right there. Good to see you, Glenn. And uh, we had a good time with uh, uh, Glenn and Jason WMER Meridian. We were on the air in Meridian, and they played a lot of our family music group artists. It was wonderful. We appreciate it. We had a great time. Um, they love the Oak Ridge boys and I got my uh, buddy Dwayne Allen on the phone and we just talked for a while in there and they were, they were, uh, ecstatic and I was so happy that it was able to work out for them. Nathan Morris from Indianapolis. Good to see you. Shirley Hinton. Good to see you. Max Wilson played, uh, played something twice the other day while I was mowing the grass. I don't know what the, uh, oh, I guess uh, probably I sang myself happy. Well, that's good. I hope that was it. Scott Harvath, John Kelly, good to see you. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. You've been seeing that commercial on TV. By the time I hear it, I've got to sing it the rest of the night. I would have taken, I don't know what that means, John Kelly. Uh, Shirley says, love this song, Jamie Simmons from church. Here's Adam and Angel from the Old Time Preachers Quartet. There's Andy and Patty. And hey, Uncle Les, where you at? I want my home for a little while, and then we hit the road, and I'll be with your daddy in North Carolina Wednesday night, but I'm going to hit the road Tuesday morning. Got a big radio tour Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I want to say thanks for being a blessing to so many folks. Keep up the good work for the Lord. God bless. Thank you, Nathan. I appreciate that, brother. Deanne Parrish, Ken Johnson, Linda Presnell from East Tennessee. Yes, I sang myself happy. Jim McComas' son, Jim McComas, wrote a song and sent it to me yesterday. And I've done put it on hold for the Old Time Preachers Quartet. Jim McComas, uh, he has hauled off and written a song. Thank you, Jim, for sending it. Linda, Ernie Peters is watching. Hope you're feeling better, Ernie. Okay, so now let's see here. Let me, let me, let's play a song by the Millers. Then I'm going to get ready to make a call. Let me get this off of the, uh, out of the package here. Now, these folks are from Virginia. This is husband and wife and uh, another male vocalist, a mixed trio. And I mean to tell you, they're fantastic. And uh, they got a song that was written by John Darren Rousey and Sue Smith that's on the radio now. And I like it. I'm going to play it for you right now. They were part of the radio tour, so here they are. What he's done lately. The Miller from Virginia. Facebook Live with Les. I remember Jesus walking on the water. Gave sight back to the blind. How one day on a hill he fed five thousand. I'm thrilled to read those stories every time. I wish I could have watched him heal leper or heard him cry, Lazarus, come out. Two thousand years have passed, but friend, if you should ask, I'll tell you what the Lord is up to now. He's walking with me every single step I take. 
on the cross he saw my name. The day he left the grave he signed my pardon and paved the road to seal my destiny. When I woke up this morning there was mercy. With every dawn he gives a new look The God of ages past who is the first and last. When it comes to miracles, he's only just begun. So let me tell you what he's done lately. He is walking with me every single step I take. And teaching me to trust him on the way. He's lighting up the map for every move I make. And turning all the darkness into day. He gives me living bread. begun. They're just going to tell you what he's done lately. He's done a lot before that. He's going to do a lot after. <laughs> Good. I like it. The Millers from Virginia. Scott says Virginia is God's country. Well, I tell you what, whenever I do my drive from Nashville to Roanoke and I get up in those Blue Ridge Mountains, I mean to tell you what the beauty is, uh, I mean, just it's a big old wow is what it is. It's a wow. All right, so I'm going to make a call here right quick, and we're going to bring somebody on the old uh, telephone here if the Lord will help me to do this, and I pray that he does. One ringy dingy. Donnie who? Donnie Williamson. Is this Les Butler? It is Les Butler. How in the world are you doing, my friend? I snuck in on you on a different phone number, didn't I, Donnie? Well, yeah. <laughs> but I knew who it was. Well, you don't have any other friends in the 615 area code? Only one friend per area code? Well, yeah, sometimes <laughs> two. <but. laughs> well, listen, um... You were part of the radio tour uh, that I've done the last couple of days. We took some uh, Williamson's music, and um, one of the places we stopped there in Meridian, Mississippi, WMER, they played some Williamson's music. And as I was traveling and listening to other stations, guess what I heard? More Williamson's music. Radio loves you, William Donnie Williamson. Well, I appreciate that. We sure love radio. I know that. We, we, uh, we were just down in Mississippi. I knew that they were playing us down there because... I had so many people contact me from that area. Yeah. Well, they are. And I got a, let's see, I had a, let me think here for a second. Oh, I know what it was. Uh, last night I had uh, I had supper with Jerry Edgel of WBTG in Alabama. And I'm going to tell you something that he told me. And I'm gonna, I want to, I hope I say it exactly the, the way he said it. But we were talking about Southern gospel music and the style of it today and then traditional Southern gospel music and, and this, that, and the other. And he was talking about some concert experiences, and I won't go into all of it, but I was certainly agreeing with him on every word that he said. But in the midst of this conversation, he said, uh, and when it comes to real, I think he said real Southern gospel music uh, done uh, uh, from, a, from, a family, from a family point of view, he said the Williamsons represent Southern gospel music, real Southern gospel, better than any other family in Southern gospel music. Well, bless his heart. That that uh, that's encouraging. That's really encouraging. You know, I uh, I, I remember back a couple of projects back. Uh, uh, I was using a, a pretty well known producer that you know, and I said I said I want this project to be be as. Uh, uh, you know, as edgy as it can be without us alienating the, the people that already like what we do. Yeah. I, I, I'm not looking to try to get out to a, a group of 
people necessarily that like, you know, uh, the, the more contemporary style of music. I, I want to share the gospel, Les. That's the main thing is sharing the gospel. You know that because you and I have had a lot of conversations about this upcoming project, and I'm, I'm really focused on yeah. uh, looking for those songs that share the gospel message clearly. And uh, I, I'm really glad that really blessed me to hear that. It really does. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, I, I mean, I wasn't baiting him or anything. He was just taking off on this conversation and just uh, just just laying it down the line. And then in the course of this, he mentioned that. And I said, well, that, that encourages me to hear that because the Williamsons are, you know, one of the groups that I produce and on my label and all that, and they're my friends, and, I, and I'm glad to hear that. And he said, well, I meant every word that I said. And I said, well, that's good. So be encouraged with that, Donnie. That was, uh, that was very encouraging. Well, that, that is, Les. I bet I appreciate you letting me know that. I'll... Uh... I'll have to get that to him and thank him as well. And tell your family as well. Now, speaking of encouragement, I'm sitting here, too, looking at the uh, Scoops Diamond Awards, all the nominations from uh, from the folks that I work with, either that I produce or that are on my label. And um, and for you all, I, I'm, I'm in management with you, produce, and, and we've got just a very strong relationship together, and it pleases me greatly to look at this list and see that uh, the Williamsons are up for Mixed Group of the Year, Female Vocalist of the Year, your sweet bride, Lisa Williamson. Song of the Year, Every Mountain, Every Moment, Every Mountain, Every Mile. Dottie Rambo, Songwriter of the Year, Lisa Williamson. And so the Williamson's got nominations stacked up all over this thing, Donnie. What about that? Oh, man, that, that was, you, you're right. That is encouraging. That is so encouraging. And, and you know, uh, uh, the, the people that vote in, in the Scoops category, you know, you've got different, uh, like you've got Christian Voice singing to you. You've got all these different, different uh, magazines and organizations that have that have awards. But you know, the the Scoops people, they've kind of been our friends for a long time, and, and so that, that's why that we're you know, we may not be as well known as a lot of the the, the better known groups. But you know, those those are our friends of course there, and they've got thousands of people that vote on that as well i mean it's, they it's do. not just a small time deal it's thousands and thousands of people that, that vote but i'm going to tell you what if my wife wins female voters of the year i'm not going to be embarrassed because as far as i'm concerned she's oh. good as any of them well yeah <laughs> and, uh, so she's I'm absolutely can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with every female southern gospel singer it going today. Well, I, I agree with that wholeheartedly. I agree with that. And I'll say the same thing about Every Moment, Every Mountain, Every Mile. Uh, we were so blessed to get that song. And you know the story behind that. We already had our song list pretty well picked out. Yeah. And uh, Noel Lindsay pitched that to us and said, God, we've got to do something. And so we we held back a couple of songs and put that one on instead because I don't think there was any better song last year. No. It, that's a great song. That's, that's a great song. That's one of the best songs I've ever been privileged to have any kind of part of at all. What a what a song. Yeah, I agree with that. And then of course, mixed group of the year. Yeah. Well, I I I, I think one, I, I, we just we just have a lot of friends. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? And I, I actually we talked about this in part of the tour that I did when um, mixed quartets came up in one of my conversations and I said, you know, there are many great mixed groups and, and I produce many of them and I'm, I'm blessed to have a lot of mixed groups that I think are uh, truly, honestly, I'd put them up against anybody in our world. But there's only one real mixed quartet right now in Southern Gospel music. When you compare mixed quartets of the past, like you know the the Lefevers and the Rex Nealon singers and the Spears and the Downings, and I could go on and on. The the thing that they had were real bass singers, and that we have none today except for the Williamsons. Well, I, I, I've said the same thing uh, myself, and, and also. Uh you know, and it's not, you know, the, the, having, having a, a true quartet bass singer really, really helps set us apart. But also, uh, Lisa uh, singing the tenor part. Yeah. Uh, there's not a lot of women that can pull that off like Lily Byrne did. Yeah, you know, yeah. People like that. Yeah. Uh, and, and uh, uh, but, but uh, she can actually sing the tenor part. And uh, I don't know if you've heard us do it before, but... We, we've even done, and it was by request, it's kind of a fluke, but we did the, the male quartet arrangement of Old Water Savior here a while back, and she blows it out, she knocks it out of the park. Yeah, uh, yeah. And that sings as good as any man I've ever heard. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, agreed. Totally agree. Well, then, uh, you know, just uh, corporately, too, from, from the label's perspective, just to touch on this since I've got it here in my hand, on the Scoop Steinman Awards, in addition to the Williamsons, uh, the, the, the newest artist on, on the Family Music Group label, your label mates, Heart to Heart, they're up for the Sunrise Trio of the Year and the Video of the Year for Sons of Uncle Sam, so I'm blessed there. Um, and then uh, in the Bluegrass category, our label mates there, Heaven's Mountain Band, they've got five nominations in various categories. And then, uh, I don't know how this happened other than it has got to be a slow news year, but uh, I'm up for the Paul Heil Award and for the J.D. Sumner Living Legend Award. Now, Donnie, it's got to be a slow year for me to be up for any kind of Living Legend Award. Well, I don't know about that. The only thing I see, you're a little young for it, but, but, uh, uh, but I was, yeah, I, It's I slow news it. day. It's I slow news. <laughs> Well, listen, and to that end, folks, uh, as you're listening, please go online and go to Scoops Magazine, and please vote. Vote for the Williamsons in all of those categories. Vote for Heart to Heart in their two categories. Vote for Heaven's Mountain Band in those five categories. And if there's better in my two categories, vote for them. But if you think that I'm the best in those categories, I reckon vote for me. But um, uh, we want you to go vote for, for all these folks that I'm blessed to work with through Family Music Group, including... The Williamsons. I tell you what, Donnie, I am going to... Oh, uh, before I play a Williamson song, um, when I texted you a while ago, you said something about a YouTube channel. Man, you need to talk to me about this. What are you doing? Well, I don't know, Les. I don't know what a YouTube channel is. <laughs> <laughs> but we've got one. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, my 15-year-old my daughter has got to put it together and We've got a bunch of songs on it, but we realized that uh, there were some of our uh, uh, better-known songs that that weren't uh, that weren't on it. So we're we're here at a little church uh, where I've been preaching the past uh, few months, uh, uh, putting some more songs we put on the YouTube channel. So you find the Williamsons, and, and I think there's a link to it on our uh, on our website, WilliamsonsMusic.com. Okay, well, oh, cool. Yeah. Well, I thought you were like creating some TV shows to put on the on that channel, but you're doing videos of of songs that are that uh, you've made popular. So that's good. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And some of them, and some of the some of them on there are live videos. We've been in concert in different places, but gotcha. But then we're uh, we're doing some tonight, just some single song, <clears throat> and we uh, we've been doing a, a Facebook live concert once a month. We did it once a week when everything shut down, but uh, as things went along, we felt like that was a little bit much, so we backed off once a month, but. We still get, uh, we've had, we did one last, uh, last Friday, been about 8,000 views so far. Wow, that's good, okay. And so it just keeps, just keeps climbing every day. We'll do one more thing for me. This is Facebook Live with Les, Southern Gospel Music, Memorabilia, Memories, and Ministry. And uh, being a preacher, I want you to do the little ministry part for me here tonight. I'm getting ready to play the Williamson's number one song, Jesus, What a Wonderful Name. And so uh, we'll just take a minute or two and lift up the name of Jesus for us tonight. All right. Yes, sir. That's, uh, that's what we try to do every day and every time we sing. That's what our primary goal is to lift up the name of Jesus. Well, I, I'm going to play the song here in a minute, but go ahead. I want you to take just a minute now, Donnie, and, and just, just t oh. testify about Jesus for a minute. Well, man, I can do that because I sure like bragging <laughs> on Jesus. You I know, know you can. Uh, Yeah. Uh, I won't take up too much time. Let, let me tell you what's happened during the coronavirus shutdown. Okay. Uh, you know, we, we got shut down about the middle of March like everybody else. And we've been singing a few Sunday nights here and there, did a couple of Friday. We've not done much, but, but neither has anyone. Uh, but uh, in the meantime, God has opened the door for us. Uh, since we weren't singing much, our local Methodist church here in Wetumpka uh, has not uh, had a pastor in quite some time. And so they asked me if I'd preach for them. So I've been down here lifting up the name of Jesus in this uh, in this little Methodist church here in Wetumpka. And I tell you what, I'm sick of a lot of things. I won't get into it, but there's a lot of things going on in the United Methodist uh, Church movement. And uh, this is a very strong conservative church here in my hometown, as many of them are around here. But Les, I really, I really see the potential. I really see the potential for revival in the Methodist Church. 
and uh, and I feel that it's a just very very good chance God has placed us here to be part of that, and it's just going to give us a chance to lift up the name of Jesus all across the country in an area. The Methodist Church started through revival, right? You know, and and uh, and and uh, and it's been been lacking revival for quite some time, but. Uh, but I, we're going to lift up the name of Jesus here at this little church, and it, and it, uh, with our Facebook Live, it's going around the world. Well, good deal. All right. Well, I'm going to play. Uh, I'm going to play that song that y'all did that talks about Jesus. Well, I tell you what. Let, let me let the one guy talk to you here. Okay. What's up, Les? Who is this? It's Darren A. Bear. Oh my goodness! Did they let you out of jail to come and do this video y'all are working on? As long as I went to the Methodist Church and nowhere else. <laughs> Well, Darren, we kind of talked about you a while ago. We were talking about mixed quartets, and in today's world of Southern gospel music, there's only one, and that's the Williamsons. That's because of you, the bass singer. You're a real bass singer, Darren. Well, we'll see after this COVID mess how good I am. <laughs> Are you starting to forget songs and things like I'm that? I'm forgetting songs. I'm forgetting how to hit low notes. <laughs> Yeah, I, I hear you. We're all having that problem, man. You'll be, you'll bounce back. Oh yeah. oh yeah, you'll bounce back. Looking forward to getting on the road again. I'll tell you that. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to hear y'all live again, man. It's I'm sick of this thing. This virus has got to get out of here so we can get back to preaching and singing. Yes, sir. I agree. Yeah. yeah. Well, hey, it was good talking to you. I'll, I'll put you back to Donnie. Okay, Darren. Thank you, man. <laughs> all right. All right, Donnie, that's good. Thank you for letting me get a little shout-out to Darren A. Bear. Yes, sir. Well, thank you for, uh, for all that you do for us, Lance. We're so honored to be, be part of the Family Music Group and Public Music Group, and more than that, I'm just proud to be your friend. Right back at you, my brother. I promise you that. Well, have a good night. Go get some videos. I'll go look at your YouTube channel a little bit later. Okay, sounds good. Thanks, Donnie. Bye-bye. Right, Bye-bye. All right, well, as promised, let's listen to uh, that song I was talking about. It was number one in all of the magazines, Scoop, Singing new, News, all of them, all of them, written by Gerald Crabb as recorded by the Williamsons. Jesus, what a wonderful name. Somebody say amen to that.
salvation in any other, for there is none other name given under heaven, given among men, under heaven, given among men. Isn't that the truth? Whereby we must be saved. Jesus, what a wonderful name. <laughs> what a great song right there. And again, as is evidenced by uh, the number one, everywhere in every chart, amazing, wonderful. Well, we're talking about the radio tour that I've been on the last few days. <coughs> Excuse me, and playing some music from uh, everybody on the tour. And so let's see, I got a couple more tunes here that I want to play, and then we will call tonight. But before we do that, let me see here. I got to do this. What am I doing? Let's see who is. Uh, let's see who is uh, on here with us. Let me get this other CD ready to go here. Let me get this ready to go. Okay, let's see who's on here with us. Let's see. We got Jim Rollins on here. Scott uh, Harvath is saying, well, glory, hallelujah. You know that's right. Hey, there's Mr. Engineer, Steve Chandler. Let me tell you about old Steve. Steve is a great engineer. He engineers it all, too. He's one of the best bluegrass engineers it's ever been. And, well, the man engineered all of the Happy Goodman hits that you've ever heard on the radio. I mean, all of the big ones. I believe he's coming back, like he said, uh, 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 come on, Les, you know every single Happy Goodman song that's ever been done. How much more uh, had it not been? Who am I? Uh John the Revelator, I mean, I go on and on, all of them. And so Steve is on here, and so we salute Steve. When Matt does all of the bass playing on our records, I'm getting Steve in to engineer for us these days. Man, he's killing it. Hey, there's Becky Rochester's Matthews. Man, I'm praying for you and your family. Got some coronavirus things going on there. And I want you to know that you are on our prayer list. And please tell that to the entire family. And we will continue to do so until uh, y'all get out of that mess right there. There's Shirley. There's Rob and Milby. There's Caleb and Chuck and Brian and Bob and Patsy and Nicholas. And there's Scotty. There's Isla Knight. Isla, we're going to get you on one night. I'm telling you, it's going to happen now. Tammy Jones Robinette. I just love Tammy. Just a wonderful, wonderful, talented woman. And um, my friend and her husband, and they're just wonderful people, just I love them. Danny Tuttle. Hey, there's uh, uh, Joni Bailey Robinson, South Carolina. How you doing, girl? Been a while since I've seen you. I hope you and uh, Scott are doing well. Ernie Peters says, congrats, Jim McComas. Man, Jim McComas has written a song. I am so excited. Whew. Mm. He texted to me, and I played it while I was driving on my radio tour last night and almost had a wreck. Hey, Randy Griffiths. Hey, uh, Big Mo. You're such a blessing, sir. Well, Mo, you are too, brother. Thank you for saying that. You're very kind. All right, so uh, we were doing this radio tour, and I've been playing songs from everybody that's on this tour. And let's see, am I missing somebody here? Let me look at this. We got that, and then we got this, and then we got that over there. Oh, yeah, let me do this one right here. The Thurston's from the great state of Michigan. Man, you wouldn't think. I mean, up in Michigan... You wouldn't think Southern Gospel music in Michigan? I mean, that's way on up north. That's Canada almost. You know? You, so you don't think of Michigan. The first, and when you think of Southern Gospel music, that's probably not the first state you think of. But let me tell you, the Thurstons know how to do Southern Gospel music in the state of Michigan. And I'm going to play a song by them. They were on, uh, uh, helped me for part of this radio tour. And so uh, let's play um, cut number, what's in the cut number? Number eight, outstretched hand. Here you go, the Thurstons from the great state of Michigan. Outstretched hand. Thurston, Facebook Live with Les, Southern Gospel Music, Memorabilia, Memories, and Ministry. I lost a, I lost a speaker. Uh oh. The lives we read are changed by God through the power of 
have to work on that? What an appropriate song for these days. Boy, listen to this lyric. much these days. That's a great song. The Thurston's again from the great state of Michigan. Boy, you wouldn't think that uh, you could do Southern Gospel like that up there, but they do. And they've been doing it quite a while. And uh, good folks, the Thurston's, uh, helping me there on the radio tour. Now, on that tour too, um, and, and it just happened, all of the dates coincided. Excuse me, I've been trying to do this tour since March, but the coronavirus closed me down from going in March, in April, in May, and finally, toward the end of July, it allowed me to go out and, you know, get hotels and do all the stuff I need to do, and restaurants back up, and, and all that kind of stuff. So, um, finally got to schedule for the end of July, and at the same time, simultaneously, we've got two songs on the charts that's going, that, that as we speak now, would be two... Uh, monumental things for my little company and very historical. Right now there are two songs, one by the Old Time Preachers Quartet, that's number four in the country, and it could be their first ever national number one song. Don't know if that's gonna happen or not, but it's number four and it went from four, went from 16 to four, so it, it's possible. And then a group called Heart to Heart from North Carolina, they've never had a top 20, and they're number 25 right now. And so in this cycle in the radio, uh, this could be uh, one or two historical things for my little family music group. And so we are immensely thankful. If, it, if neither one of them happened, we're still very, very blessed. And I give God the glory for all of it. If it does happen, praise his name and hallelujah. And we'll thank him again and we'll thank him some more. 
But uh, so uh, we part, part of this has turned into the happy tour because we have found, let me tell you what I found out. And I, ha I mean, the DJs are just smarter than me and that's not a news flash. It doesn't take much to be smarter than me. <laughs> um, but they've been playing these songs together as kind of like a, a happy combo, <laughs> like a happy meal. Uh, and they would go out of happy, glad day into I sing myself happy or vice versa. And they make happy, a happy music segment for their listeners. And what a great idea in this, in this world of horrific news and everything awful that's going on in the world to put some music on there that's got happy all over it, happy in it, and toe tapping and hand clapping and just happy gospel music. And um, and I think that's probably why both of these songs have taken off. And so I'm going to play this song by Heart to Heart, Happy Glad Day. It's number 25 in the country. And if it goes to number 20, it'll be their first off, it's their highest uh, charting song ever already. But this will sure enough be their first ever top 20 song if it goes from 25 up into 20 or more. So won't you call your radio stations and tell them uh, that you'd like to hear Happy Glad Day by Heart to Heart. And this is as Southern Gospel as it gets. What do you say? We're just playing right here. That's your old buddy Les playing the piano, by the way. There's a day coming all of God's children will be going home. A place where no more tears are sad. Gathering around his I like how that sounds. first ever top 20 song. Call radio and ask for heart to heart. Happy glad day. You can listen to the online stations too. And uh, man, just call and help them to get their first ever top 20. That right there is Southern gospel folks. Let's get Southern gospel up in the charts. Real Southern gospel. Okay. Help me with that. That good. Let's see who's on there. Oh, I got an old time preachers quartet song that we'll do next. It's part of the happy pack. <laughs> Let's see, Patty Graham. That's a great song. Yes, it is, Patty. It is. Thank you for noticing. Hey, there's old WMER Glenn Miller. Man, we had a good time yesterday with you on the air, Glenn. Thank you. He said, dude, what's up? Really enjoyed your visit and getting Dwayne the ace to call was so great. Thank you. Had uh, Dwayne Allen of the Oak Ridge Boys, a buddy of mine, 
uh, they were talking about how much they liked the Oaks, and I said, let me see if I can, if Dwayne's uh, got a minute to talk. And uh, so I sent him a text, and Dwayne called right, right there on my phone and said, yeah, man, let's let's talk. And we had a good time. There's uh, Chelsea. Oh, yeah. I played some of your music on my radio tour yesterday. And, uh, matter of fact, this, the station I'm talking about, WMER, Glenn Miller, they had y'all queued up and going to play you uh, with or without me. What about that? Man, she's a fine singer. John Morgan Matson. There's Daryl. There's Donna Blue Kearns. What about that? How you doing, Miss Donna? Gene Thorne, Big Mo, Jim Rowland. Okay. All right. So, uh, like I said, I just, I, I, again, the DJs are just simply smarter than I am. Again, not a news flash. But uh, they've been playing that song there, Happy Glad Day, by Heart to Heart. And the Old Time Preachers Quartet song, I sang myself happy, a lot of them back to back, make it a, a kind of a happy pack <laughs> uh, for their audience to hear, hearing some happy music during all these awful news stories and things that you see, and, and they're throwing some happy their way. Isn't that wonderful? And I never, I mean, I didn't put all that together, but I'm thankful that DJs are smarter than I am, and that's what they're doing. And so here is the other song, I'll, I'll play this one. That, uh, that they are playing when they do that. Now, um, <coughs> excuse me, the, um, the piano that you, I, I produced Heart to Heart. I produced that record, and that's me on the piano on that. I, I don't play on, on the albums that I produce, but uh, I needed to play that one because they added some songs afterwards, and we had to kind of do it an unusual way, and so I got a band together, and I had to play the piano. And, uh, but I do play on the Old Time Preachers Quartet songs, and so you just heard me play the piano, on heart to heart, and here I am playing with my court. Oh, Lord have mercy! Playing with my quartet. <laughs> I sang myself slap happy with the old time preachers quartet number four in America. Sing it. Walked over to the upright piano, opened up the bench, pulled out a faded book I dearly love.
there's your happy pack with happy glad day from heart to heart and i sang myself happy from a quartet that i'm a part of the old hairy legged preacher boys quartet otherwise known as the old time preachers quartet bob sellers just absolutely tore that song up bob i'm doing that right there for bob and the entire quartet right there and it is number four in america went from number 16 to number four and radio was saying it could be number one this month i don't know if it is or not if it doesn't if it goes down man we're blessed at number four you have to understand these the, this group of preachers are blown away by um what's going on was not expected it is appreciated and we're very thankful so if you like uh, if you like that call your local radio station and maybe help to uh <coughs> move it to number one and um hallelujah whatever happens hallelujah <laughs> so there you go i think i played everybody now from the two days i was on the road and what i just did tonight i think i've now played everybody uh that uh, uh helped uh for this radio tour this leg of the tour and so Next week, I'm going to East Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia. Whew. Lord have mercy. And in the middle of all that, the Old Time Preachers Quartet finally going to get together and sing one night. <laughs> all of our dates are pretty much canceled. I mean, we're just not singing, but we're going to get to sing Praise the Lord next Wednesday night uh, for Brother Scott Gray in North Carolina. So if you want to look at our calendar, you can see that information on that. And if you... Uh, or North Carolina, just jump in a car and drive and come and be with us, okay? <coughs> and pray for my sinus infection. It just simply will not go away. I don't know what's going on. Well, let's see who else we have here, and then we're going to call it a night. Look at there. I lost my thing. Ed Sheffield. Oh, my aunt Sue says bravo. She likes I sing myself happy. Hello, Tony Allen Bates. Good to see you, my brother. Justin Baker. Patty. Glenn. Okay, so we've talked to everybody. So, thank you for everything, and um, probably won't see me tomorrow night. Lord willing, maybe you'll see me uh, Thursday night and Friday night. Not sure what I'll do. I was thinking about, you know, um, <coughs> excuse me, before I leave, please don't forget to pray for my buddy Steve Gully. He's a bluegrass singer, and uh, honestly, he's one of the best singers I've ever heard in my life. And just a good friend. I've been blessed to play on uh, some of his recordings. And uh, <coughs> when we're live, uh, ever live together, he brings me on stage. And we do that I could still go free together. And just, I mean, he's just, man, what a talent. And uh, he's in the hospital in Knoxville and they're doing tests and things. But it's, uh, the early indications are not good. And uh, the early indications would uh, make you to believe that uh, God needs to show up in a, in a mighty, mighty way. So would you please do me a personal favor? As a personal favor to me, write down the name Steve Gully. Steve Gully. And pray for my friend Steve Gully. Would you please do that? Tell your friends to do it. Take it to your uh, pastor's. Include them in your um, uh, prayer list in church. And, and uh, if you have people that you pray with uh, on a daily or weekly basis, put Steve's name in your, on your prayer list and take him to your friends and to your church. You don't know him, but I do. And he's my friend. And he's a good man. And I love Steve Gully. And uh, he needs God to show up in a mighty way. So I want to end with that. Please do that for me. I would appreciate it. Now, Lord willing, we will uh, see you probably again on Thursday night. And uh, you know what? I just very well might uh, do a, a Steve Gully show. And I might have my friend Mark Wheeler, who's a big uh, fan of Steve's, and they're very close friends as well. And uh, I might, uh, we might do a Steve Gully show, and then you'll see what I'm talking about. What a massive, massive, massive talent this man is. And so we might do that Thursday night. 
Okay? God bless you. We'll see you later.